Hi, folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com for this week's AOSP ROM of the Week. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know what AOSP is, go type uh, what is AOSP high on Android on Google and you'll see my video explanation. Uh, for this week's ROM of the Week, check out AOKP ROM. This is an unofficial build, uh, but I've tested it and everything works actually quite just as good as official versions. Um, I really like it. This is available for all the Qualcomm based um, Galaxy Note 3s except for any anything with a lock bootloader such as AT&T or Verizon. Uh, if you have Safestrap you cannot install any AOSP ROMs currently. Um, that's due to the lock bootloader, that's due to AT&T and Verizon's policy um, on their phones. Um, so either you can switch carriers uh, or for AT&T, you can get the T-Mobile version. That's my best advice. Anyway, let's get on to the ROM overview here. This is AOKP ROM. Uh, for those of you who've never tried AOKP, uh, it stands for Android Open Kang Project. This project started uh, when custom ROMs started um, a couple of years ago. And this is one of the coolest ROMs that you can customize. This is where all the customiz customization started with all the ROM control. Um, you see ROM control, similar to ROM control, stuff on other custom ROMs, but this is where it really started. And you know, since AOKP is where it started, um, you can expect some nice stability and all of the customizations, um, the original customizations you'll find with AOKP. Uh, in ROM control, you'll be able to customize all of these stuff here. And I'll go through all of them just for those of you noobs out there. Uh, for those of you, you know, um, already installing your own custom ROMs, you probably don't even have to watch this uh, video. But for those of you just, you know, starting out with custom ROMs, let me go over every little detail of AOKP. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite AOSP ROMs. It's one of my go-to ROMs. Um, it's just solid. The developer, uh, team of developers are just uh, great. And uh, let's actually go over all the things. Um, of course, it comes with the latest Android 4.4.2 and uh, these are custom uh, animations I added in through ROM control. Uh, let's go over all the ROM control stuff you can do. Um, so if you swipe to the left here, let me go ahead and start with the general here. Um, general recent RAM bar, wake up on charger, your recent RAM bar there, um, I think it's enabled by default. You can go ahead and swipe to the left to access all of these different things. A lock screen background, this is great. Uh, if you wanna put your Doge uh, background there, you can go ahead and do that. A uh, volume rocker wake, music controls, transparent lock screen. So this uh, this will allow you to see the transparent lock screen, but you'll have to remove the background to actually use that. Uh, battery arc handle, this is nice. You can see your battery status there. And let's go to the next one here, status bar. Double tap your status bar to sleep. Um, status bar, brightness slider. Go ahead and slide to the left or slide to the right and hold um, to change the brightness. Notifications there, AM, PM style, clock style, you can change the color of the color. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Show network speeds, you can go ahead and uh, show your network speeds. I find that uh, pretty common these days and very useful. Um, toggles, this is where you can enable all of your toggles. Uh, Wi-Fi tether torch. By the way, I have this running on my Sprint Note 3. Uh, Wi-Fi Tether works out of box for all the carriers on the uh, AOSP ROMs just because there's no software locks that carriers put in. That's another beauty of AOSP ROMs. Of course, you're going to lose all of your S Pen capabilities, anything Samsung TouchWiz, zap. It's going to turn your phone into a pure Google Android phone. Um, you can get different toggle styles, tiles, pull down, scrollable. You can go ahead and play with those, see what it does. You can go ahead and uh, pull down your menus here. And let me go ahead and get rid of those. Um, you know, you'll be able to do it. And uh, torch on, torch off. Uh, I highly suggest put those on. Wi-Fi tether on and off. Those are nice ones. Um, you can go ahead and add more. Add toggles. Uh, all of these different toggles you can add. Swagger, it actually doesn't do anything. So um, don't don't fret if it doesn't do anything. Uh, ROM control here. Let's go back here. Toggles, we just did toggles, whoops. Go to hardware keys, um, here we go. I did it so I customized uh, hardware keys so I can get voice search. San Francisco 49ers score. All right, uh, they're not playing right now. 
but it's okay. I like the 49ers. Um, also, I have long press back key to kill apps. So if I go ahead and hold this down, it's going to kill whatever app I'm on. So it killed ROM control. Um, that's nice to have. So you can go ahead and customize all of your buttons. And let's go back to here, power menu. Um, there's actually not too much with the power menu. You can go ahead and, and show this option or not show the option. Uh, some of the other custom ROMs have actually more options. Um, navigation bar, you can have navigation bar. Go ahead and turn that on. You'll have navigation bar. Um, you can change the height smaller if you want it. Um, you can customize these buttons, add more buttons, uh, or get rid of it. There we go. And navigation ring, uh, pretty simple. Um, you can add more shortcuts. Let me go ahead and show you. I can go straight to Gmail. Um, this is sort of nice because you can just kind of one-hand it. Um, and just access everything and uh, you can get uh, app window app drawer sort of um, or you can press that button of course uh, but this one does feature uh, more apps it's one two three four five one two three four five five by seven instead of uh, the four by two four six also I would totally use Nova launcher over the KitKat launcher it's pretty much the same thing but you can customize the grid fit more apps um, that's my preferred method and I'm sure many of you um, that's your preferred method also. Let's go back to ROM control here. Let me go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff. Uh, sound, safe headset volume. I just turn that off. I kind of see it kind of pointless. Volume adjust sound. Um, installer, ribbons. Um, this is sort of cool. Uh, basically, you can have left ribbon items. It's basically a uh, like a pie control thing. Now, if you have a case like this, this is going to be really hard to use. Um, so for this feature, I highly recommend using a case that doesn't have a lip. Um, but there you go. If you don't have a lip, this is really easy to do. Uh, that's the left left ribbon there. Uh, more shortcuts you can add. Um, so let's go ahead and see some of the other uh, ribbons. I also got lock screen ribbons. Uh, there we go. I can go straight to my gallery there. Um, that's kind of cool. And let's go back to settings here and uh, animations this is where you can customize all of your animations you might have seen uh, some interesting animations already there you go swipe to the right um, and some LED stuff there uh, pretty cool stuff now if you want to get most out of your uh, AOKP ROM here I do highly suggest uh, installing lean kernel um, this is the lean kernel uh, which is pretty nice and uh, there is actually no performance menu so um, you can go ahead and download a uh, trickster mod app from the play store which is free and go ahead and download it um, i'll show you my setting go ahead and go to general here and i like to set it to 2.496 gigahertz there i wish there was actually a step between 2.49 i think you can actually push it to 2.6 pretty stable uh, but if you go to 2.7264 gigahertz um, you'll start having some restarts some problems but 2.496 um, you're just at perfect stability. Um, you should be fine. And that's the same frequency as the new Galaxy S5. So by uh, overclocking to 2.496 gigahertz, your phone essentially becomes as fast as a Galaxy uh, S5. Of course, it's going to drain your battery a little bit more. Um, there is also a way to undervolt, but I don't actually recommend it. It doesn't work too well with the Note 3 here. Um, so that's the way to go. Um, and uh, yeah, basically you can go ahead and install the kernel also. Um, that's my recommended uh, so you can get the fastest speeds, but it is already fast. Uh, and 2.2, you can get about uh, 35,000, um, so, which is a good score with the overclocking. Um, and I think that's right on par with Galaxy S5. Uh, besides that, UI is super fast, um, so you'll never have problems. Um, there's, it's completely lag free, uh, very good stuff. And uh, you got the Google Now here. If you're using the KitKat browser, or sorry, KitKat launcher that it comes with, uh, very nice stuff. Overall, very nice ROM. And uh, you know, this is one of those ROMs that you must try at least once if you're new to, um, you know, Android open source. And this is one of the best ROMs to actually get started with AOSP type of ROMs. Again, this is not TouchWiz. Um, you know, you can still use your S Pen with third-party apps. Uh, there's bunch of S Pen alternative apps, but obviously it's not going to be using, uh, same as using actual TouchWiz uh, ROM. But overall, I really like it. 
Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week, AOSP ROM of the Week. Um, if you have a Note, th Note 3 that supports it, and I'll list all the models on my site, so check it out. And do let me know you, what you think. And uh, again, this isn't for everybody, but th for those of you who want to experience pure Google on your Note 3, make your Note 3 super fast uh, without any bloatware, just pure Google. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com to receive from the week updates in your inbox. And I will see you guys soon. I stay hoy on Android. Yeah. Oh, I totally forgot to show you the camera. Um, you get the latest AOSP camera, uh, which is pretty cool. And let me actually show you. Ah. There we go. Um, you will be able to get the camera lens blur option, panorama and photosphere uh, with this camera. So pretty cool stuff. Um, let me do the camera here. And lens blur, sort of like uh, what is, what's on the Galaxy S5. Let's try that. And slowly raise your device. Um, that will give you lens blur, panorama, photosphere. Um, so all kinds of good stuff there in the camera. Um, definitely check that out also. Oh, I forgot to show you that.